Hey there. I hope the terms we discovered in the previous sessions are clear to you. Let's go through today's agenda first. Today I am going to cover the process of installation, initial setup, the persona, permission sets and at last the page layouts. To start with today's first agenda which is process of installation. Process of installation involves two steps which is first to enable field service and second is to install field service. So, to enable field service just go to your setup and look for field service settings and when you click to field service settings just enable the toggle here and wait for a bit and yep it's done just click the enable notification for users and save it that's all you need at your first go now the second step install involves the actual installation the link provided in the PDF uh, can be used to install the field service. Now if you are installing for your dev org, just click the install introduction. Otherwise, if you are choosing any different customer, use the sandbox option. And let me log in. So I have logged in to the org for which I want to install the field service package. From here install for admin only and check the acknowledgement box. Then you will get a notification to give approval to the third party access. Grant this permission to and just continue now just wait for a bit because the installation hardly takes four to five minutes until then let's continue with our slide our next agenda is to get to know persona so you are probably familiar with the four persona or four players that we have learned yesterday or we can say learn in our previous session so let's uh, learn two more persona of field service that exist in the chain of field service so first is the contractor contractor is a temporary person who can be mobile worker dispatcher or office staff for a short period of time then there is the other persona which is self-service so the users that are customers are basically self-service persona. So there are accessibility to users who can schedule their own appointments via experience builder. These are the persona that comes under self-service. Now having information about the persona is really mandatory so that you can assign appropriate permission sets to them as per their requirement. Now field service managed package come with their permission sets. These permission sets need to be assigned carefully so that the accessibility and functionality of field service is separate and also restricted with the different users. Now when you know about persona you must know about permission sets because you cannot use the field service objects or functionality until unless you don't have permission sets regarding them let's have a look at these permission sets and to which users it must be assigned so that we must know our users and how much licenses we need here is the admin 
any user that is supposed to be admin must have field service admin permission and license any user that is supposed to be agent must have field service agent permission and field service agent license same goes with the dispatcher any person that is supposed to be dispatcher in your or must have field service dispatcher permission and field service dispatcher license then last but not the least our technician technician generally have three permission sets i could say first is the service resource license and then there is the field service resource permission resource permission is for them to get selected as a resource to get scheduled as a resource then the third so permission set which is mobile license is used or is assigned to them so that they can log into their field service mobile app now there is a note point about the permission sets that these permission sets are not naturally accessible in your or the admin have to enable them from field service admin package and also if you are confused with the point why the why to assign both the license and permission and what is the difference between them let me tell you the permission set allows you the accessibility to field service functionality but the license allows the permission set to provide that accessibility let's move forward it's a sign page layout but before assigning page layout let's check if our field service package has been installed or not let me refresh the org again not there let me check my email you will get an email as soon as the field service package or any package gets installed so yeah it's installed to check it let's search for field service applications okay it's not possibly let's wait for a bit if you can see the fsl package is installed let's move to our field service application fsl package comes with two application of field service one is the field service and the other is field service admin you will get to know how these fields are different or how these applications are different so field service application is used for the management purpose which is used by dispatcher to schedule and manage the different jobs but the field service admin package provides these settings regarding the field service app so i won't waste much time here let's assign the permissions so as i was saying for enabling the permission just go to the field service settings and you will get notified with just go to the permission sets and you see these are the permission sets that are provided in the field service admin app I already have enabled them so that I can show you the demo end to end. But you just simply have to click the buttons present here, and that's all you need. Now, by about assignment of these permission sets, to assign these permission sets, just choose your user. For now, if you are using your developer org. assign all these permission sets to your system administrator and you are good to go so these are the permission sets that gets installed with the 
field service package now let's move back to our slide which is assigned page layouts so field service managed package provides its own standard object page layout that includes field service visual force components and chapter actions these are standard layouts start with field service in their name now for now i am going to configure the page layout for our central object which is service appointment just go to the object from object manager click on the page layout and as you can see there is a page layout named with field service appointment layout so just go to page layout assignment edit the assignment and choose the system administrator or whichever user who is using the service field service just assign this page layout then right now i am assigning this page layout to system administrator and that's it you have to repeat the same page layout assignment process for operating hours work orders work order line items and services source that's it for today's video in next session we are going to configure how to structure the base of field service that's it for now thank you